<laughs> okay, um, so I just got done watching Shane's third part of his Tanacon series, and um, wow, <laughs> lots of stuff has been said, and I'm just gonna go off by saying this, um, I feel bad for everybody that was at that event, who got hurt, like sunburnt real bad, who didn't have any food, water, etc. all that stuff. Um, and we're gonna get to the good news of it all, but I just wanna get this out of the way first. Not good news, like good part of this thing, you know, whatever, but, um, but yeah, that was a lot. I watched the other two parts of this series too. Um, I just, I am lost for words to be honest. Um, I'm going to go also go out by saying I think what Mike, that Michael and Tana, I think they both did wrong in their own different ways. Like, they're, I, like, they are not, like, I know, like, oh, it doesn't matter what age you are, whatever, like, but, like, at 20, early 20s, you should not be running a convention or being in charge of a convention, all that stuff. Um, I, like, what Shane also said, spoilers, if anyone hasn't watched that third part, uh, third part series thing, whatever, I can put the link here, whatever, iCard or down in the description below, but, you know, him saying, like, like, they're both in their early 20s, like, you are not responsible, like, you're not in that responsible age state of mind to, like, run a, a thing like that, like, for that much people, and for, like, people to have their monies like be taken from them like that like no confirmation list whatever that's called um all that stuff um i said i actually known people that went to TanaCon and they end up not going at all because they have seen on twitter how bad it was and they were like no we're not going and they were and they were there to go meet shane too and his friends and they were like no that's that's why they went to TanaCon too is because they wanted to meet him as well and they've seen that on Twitter, how bad it was getting, all the chaos, all that stuff. And they've seen how bad that was. So, they didn't go either. And they luckily, they didn't get sunburned real bad as far as I know. Um, from what I've seen in pictures and stuff. Um, but they were also there for VidCon too. So, they were mainly at VidCon the whole time. They really even get the chance to go to TanaCon when that happened. So, they were at VidCon when all that chaos was happening. But, um, like, I seen, you know, how Tana was, par I kind of know how you could even think about partying after your fans have been disappointed, heartbroken, um, like, just like they spent thousands, like, like, like almost thousands of dollars on this and you're just going to go out and party like at, at any, like anywhere. You, even though it was your birthday, like, I don't, like, if that was me in that position, I wouldn't even have think, I would be sick to my, like, sick to my stomach over this, if I was in her position, like, I wouldn't even want to do anything, let alone party, I don't know, it's just, the whole thing seems weird, and this Michael saying he's broke, and all this stuff now, while he has, like, Gucci stuff, Prada's, whatever, I don't know how you're broke, and you have Gucci stuff, from what I've known, Gucci is not cheap. I don't know. That stuff, just both stuff seems fishy, fishy to me. And like, in that, getting footage of Shane's third part video, um, her saying that she wanted people to wait outside because she thinks that was cool. But look what happened. It, it doesn't, it's not cool to wait outside in almost 100 degree weather as far as, far as I know. I'm not exactly sure how hot it was there because I wasn't there. But from people getting burnt that bad, I'm pretty sure it was pretty dang hot to get burnt, like third degree burns on your chest. And I don't know why people were lying about how much how many people were there that day. I don't know why. That just seems crazy to me. I don't know why you would lie about how much how many people were there. I don't know how you could. I just the whole thing just seems crazy in every way. Um, I you know at first I thought Tana's heart in this convention was good until I watched the third part series and I never really realized it. Um, when Shane pointed out this, it made, I was like, okay, yeah. Um, 
So I do believe with Shane on this one, um, 100%. Things, are, things can backlash on you if you try to do things spitefully. Things can be a car, like karma's a bitch in some ways, excuse my language, but it's true. Um, when she made that video about how VidCon treated her terribly, how they were like, you know, you're, you're, you don't matter, whatever. Um, she was like, F you VidCon, all this stuff. Like she wanted revenge. She wanted this to be better. As she says in her video, you know, and by the way, I'm not taking any sides on anyone like Michael or Tana. I'm just, I think both what they did was wrong in their own ways. So just making that out there, you know, but like her saying like, F you VidCon, I'm making my convention much better than yours, freer, you know, even though it wasn't even free after all, it was all somehow a scam in some way, I don't even know, but those take those free tickets didn't exist but um yeah like her those were not good intentions she wanted revenge on vidcon and it backfired on her and that's what happened you can't try to spite somebody like that's what happens karma's a, a bitch you know that's what happens when you try to do stuff out of not evil but like not good you know and I don't think Tana is an evil person. I don't think Michael's an evil, I don't think they're, I just think they try to do things the best they could, but they couldn't in that amount of time and frame. Um, that frame of time, I should say. Um, but I don't, I just don't, it should have been handled a lot better than it should have. Like she should, like she, like, you know, she shouldn't have have gone partying, going on vacation. She should have been really focused. If she really wanted this convention to work, in some way, she should have stayed um, in Los Angeles, and excuse me, and where um, and like have constant. Even though she did have constant meetings with him, but like some footage makes him look bad, and some footage of her makes her look bad. You know, like from both documentaries, things. I don't know, but the documentary thing's kind of weird. I under, I can see all of a sudden, I, like I don't know. It's just the whole thing's so sad in so many ways. I really wanted to go to TanaCon to see Shane, but I didn't have, like, the time, the money, all that stuff to go. And I'm glad I didn't go now from what I've seen and heard and everything. So that's, like, pretty much my thought on that. I don't want people think I'm being hate. I'm leaving hate on Tana or this Michael. I don't want, you know, Michael to hurt himself from this. I don't want Tana being upset from this. It's going to go away. It's just a shocker to everybody about this whole thing because I think everyone did thought it was going to go well and it just ended up being, you know, it just was the opposite of that. You know, I hope, you know, things are, I hope like the people that went out there to mostly meet Shane and other creators that were there end up meeting them in the future in some way. You know, I hope like those two girls that were in his video, I'm glad they got to meet him after all, after they went through that. You know, there's always a silver lining to things. Even though things may seem bad now, things are going to be good again for T both Tana and Michael. You know, they're both going to be good for both of them soon. It's not, it's not the end of the world. It's just, you know, and people make mistakes. We're human. You know, we can only handle so much of things, you know. So I just, I wish both of them the best. You know, I'm glad things are slowly getting back to normal after like almost a couple weeks of this. You know, so... I just hope everyone's okay and everyone's well and you know I'm just I'm so I feel terrible I couldn't even imagine I've been burnt sunburned before but I've never been that like almost like that third degree burn you know seeing that footage it just breaks my, it really does hurt me it breaks my heart because I couldn't imagine going through that and getting you go through all that pain and you end up not even getting what you wanted for, for that pain you know it's it's really sad you know, so I hope everyone's okay and everyone's um, well and all that stuff, you know. So I'm just, I'm just, you know, glad the whole thing's out there in the open. The whole truth is out, you know, all that stuff. You know, if I left anything out, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm, in, I'm like still trying to like process it all, you know, but yeah, I'm just, All right, now on with the good part of that. The bad, got that out of the way. You know, I was gonna do the good, 
news, whatever here first, but I wanted to get the bad out of the way. This way we can end on a good note. <laughs> um, so when I heard about Colleen being pregnant, um, I was, I, when I seen the video, I thought, oh, this is probably like another, I was going to be honest. I was like, oh, this is probably like another click baby thing, like for her book promo, like she's pregnant with a new book or so, cause she's done that before with her Netflix show and lots of people didn't like how she did that. So she had to change the title all that stuff for the that, for that announcement about her Netflix show all that stuff but when I watched the video I thought I was like okay this has to be like some kind of hype thing for her book coming out soon because her book's coming out like any day now you know um, by the time this is up this will be like almost out whatever but you know so when I seen like she was actually pregnant I was like <laughs> I was like wow and it's so crazy too because it was it's so funny because not even almost a month after she just announced her relationship with eric from hater like you know they met lots of people were like oh this is so quick you know you only just started dating that not so long ago all this stuff and it's like guys they've known each other for a while now i know they just started dating like six or six months ago but it's like if you're that happy with someone like that if you're that committed to that person for eternity for the rest of your life like she said, like she 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 knew right away that was her soulmate. Like, I know she's been you know had relationships before where things didn't go so well, you know. But things happen for a reason, you know. If it like people are meant to meet for a reason, people are meant to be together for a reason, you know. Look, this baby wouldn't even be existed if it weren't for Colleen and Eric to be together. You gotta think of things like that, like. You know, like, you gotta think, like, oh, this baby's now gonna be on this in this world because of those of these two people that love so that love each other so much and care about each about each other so much. You know, and they want to spend the rest of their lives together. And when I also heard about Colleen and also being engaged, I was like, whoa, like, bombshells, <laughs> like, like, like mind mind blown. You know, sorry if my hair is like being crazy, but yeah, it's just that. At least that was good. <laughs> You know, from that whole terrible thing, what happened, what happened with Tana Khan and all that. At least something good in the news came from all this hell. <laughs> you know, um, you know, I'm ha I'm so happy for Colleen and Eric. I'm glad they're having, they're so happy together. They're gonna have, they're gonna be such amazing parents to this baby. And I also have some conspiracies on what the gender is going to be. You know, as you see that the um, as you see, if you watched her announcement video, I'm gonna also link that below too, um, about her being pregnant and all. She they shows a quick clips of them revealing the gender of the baby, but it's like in black, black and white some sort, and doesn't show the actual color reveal gender thing of the baby. I have some suspicions, however, <laughs> Tara's conspiracies. Um, um, but I think she's having a girl, only because when she made that official announcement about her being pregnant she was wearing all pink i can put a picture here screenshot she's wearing all pink, like pink eyeshadow pink lips pink nails pink shirt all pink you know i know it shouldn't be like gender double standarding this but it's like usually that's blue pink boy girl like that's how you usually know what you're having for gender wise but people have also noticed that eric's been wearing blue in the video so i'm also thinking what if i don't know if this is i don't think this is really gonna happen but just a going out of the box here i think also she might be having twins i don't want to start nothing but why would he also be i don't know i think i don't know if it's a coincidence because she might be having a boy and a girl i don't know i don't want to start anything i just i these are my suspicions my theories what i've come up with in some sort you know, I don't want people being like, oh, no, don't, don't start nothing, blah, 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 blah. No, this is what I'm thinking. But I 100% but I do think she's having a girl. I don't know about the twins theory or whatever. I do think she's having a girl because of that. Um, but, yeah, uh, whatever gender they're having, any either way, I'm just happy for them. As long as the baby's happy, healthy, in good spirits, whatever, I'm just thankful. I'm happy for Colleen. I'm, so ha I'm just so happy for her that she is finally having this baby of her own and she's not of her own, but you know what I mean. Like she's finally, this dream, this has been one of her biggest dreams of her becoming a mother and all that. So I'm um, just congrats Colleen and Eric. I wish you all both the best and 
all that, so <laughs> yeah. Well, that's going to be it for today. Um, well, not today, you know, this time, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I'm, this is like a new series, not series, but segment, whatever I'm doing. It's called Thoughts with Simmy. If you guys like that, give this video a thumbs up whatever you know um <laughs> you know but yeah i hope you guys like this and also don't forget to like the video anyway and subscribe down below and also don't forget to press that notification bell when, when you know i have a new video and so i hope to see you guys next week bye